I like to look like I've said I'm working. When, what, when, just like a few clicks when, before when, we when start? I, when I know, yeah, when I know what we're feeling. So we are back to work. We are actually open fully now. Obviously, as you've seen most people on Instagram this week. We're open, we're open, we're open. We're open. So we're open. I had my first person come in today. It was nice. Yeah, it's nice. Actually, it's been nice to welcome people. Come again. in, see what we do. It's nice. It's it, there's only so much you can do over the phone and through emails or through pictures. It's nice for people to actually see stuff in the metal and the carbon. You know, it's it's nice. And what I like about bringing people in is that they see the scale of of, of what, we, of do, what yeah. we do. You know, and we've got quite an impressive setup here. And I think it's you know that, that obviously doesn't come across in. Over the phone. Over the phone. And <laughs> you can't say obviously. to a customer, we've got a really big building. We've got a really a impressive building. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's nice. It makes yeah, this us... week's been, um, obviously we decided to do one Forge Carbon car and we ended up doing three. So we had the Miami Blue one complete last week. So we've got a video of that coming soon, of the update of that. We've got the Wild Grigio. Wild colour that. Wild it was awesome. Color. I thought yeah. it was awesome. Yeah. We've got the Grigio Telesto car, uh, which is finished, which you'll get an, uh, a nice edit of that this time nice professional edit for those who didn't think we were being professional enough last time we've done loads of r&d this week i've got some bits to show you actually so we've got like all of this is this is basically what we do before we fit parts to a car so this here is like the rear toe i cover for a discovery five so for our this new stuff kit bores me to tears bores me to tears well if i didn't I do it you wouldn't have any, anything i, I know to but look, look, just like I'll, I'll leave you to it for a minute because this i mean look it's it's yeah, yeah, manufacturing i just want i just want it to sell ready to go done okay well i'll be back to you in about a month's time with this yeah? okay thanks yeah so what we do so for the people that are interested <laughs> we we basically will 3d print something just to check things fit so check that the toe eye goes through the middle check that we can fit this in and it clips into place so when it sits on the back of the bumper it sits nice uh, we also do things for aesthetics as well. So I haven't showed anyone anything on this and we're not going to blur this, but this is the new side vent for the T6.1. So we'll 3D print this, paint it in, in satin paint just so it finishes it off. So we can fit it on the car, fit the indicator in and see whether it fits. And obviously our new Urban Works badge will go in there. Same goes for the new Defender top vent and side vent. We're doing a two-piece vent which clicks together so you can have this in gloss black with body color as an insert or satin black. Gives you a nice contrast. And then you've got a new side vent, which is a two piece vent, which again, gloss black and satin black. So that's just a little insight what we've been doing this week. Oh yeah, and the seat for the Recaros, which is the front bracket for the seats when you're putting a Recaro in a T6.1. Crash course, was that quick enough for you? Brilliant, and it, it did for me and I approve it. Urban. You, have you approved those parts? Yes. So we'll go to production. This, just this array of parts is yes. probably circa £150,000 worth of investment. Um, so yeah, we'll so the, the top vent is sixty five yes, to 70000 just to tool that. Uh, that'll be tooled out of an aluminium block. This is probably about thirty five to forty. again, two-piece aluminium block. And this is what people need to remember as well. We get so many emails, which is great because people want to be part of the urban brand and stuff like that. But we get so many emails. Do you do a splitter for this car? Do you do something for this? Do you do something for that? Yeah. I've got a BMW X6M. Have you got a splitter for it? What people don't realise is that it's not that easy to just build something one of one no. bespoke. You know, when it comes to stuff like yeah. this. I mean, this is probably the, the third or fourth 3D print to get it right. You know, these things cost six, seven, eight hundred pounds mm. each every time. You know, just these to tool, probably four or five thousand pounds yeah. just to tool these. But because it's such a small component and yeah. people don't realise it, it's just going to be something like cheaply but made. You could, like just... you could argue, why do you bother? A lot of people say, just don't bother, just leave the transport. It's attention one to on. detail, that's it's... the whole point. And this is why we are the best at what we do. Let's go downstairs and have a look at the Telesto Eurus. Right, so we have finished now not one Forge Carbon Eurus, but two. Um, so we had the Miami Blue one, which left last week. So we'll show you a little edit of that now. So, look at this. Right, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but Porsche Miami Blue on a Lamborghini Eurus with Forge Carbon is my cup of tea.
come down a little bit, Alex. Come down here. Not, not quite that angle, but that three quarter with the, with the forged carbon, the spoiler, the spacers made the, the OEM wheels wider, the wider arches. And what's nice about these arches is that we color coded the top half and left the bottom half exposed. So there's still the extended wider arches, but it's a very much OEM plus. Yeah, it really runs in lovely yeah. and smooth. What can I say? What can you say? Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot at the moment. Not a lot at the moment. What can I say? What can I say? <laughs> Forged carbon, front lip, side seals, arches, rear spoiler and diffuser. Done. And don't cut, don't cut any of that out. There's no bloopers, no nothing. Just run it. We want to see him make mistakes. This, this is the, this is the best Eurus that we've built so far. I mean, you'll probably hear that a lot. You know, this is the <laughs> yeah. SVR we've built. This is the best Eurus we've built. But genuinely, because it's so nice to do different colour combinations yeah. all the time, and this is the first time we've ever done a Grigio Telesso, but because it's such a, a, a subtle, not dull, but like a subtle dark colour, when you see the orange calipers, it yeah, just pops, and then the forged carbon, it just works so lovely. I absolutely love this one. Yeah, so the message to the new owner is this is the best Eurus that we've ever built. And we will continually keep saying that because that's good for marketing, isn't it? <laughs> this is the best. And it also it means it's a challenge for the next person for their next. To get the best right, one. So yeah. Right, I need to I need the best Nero Ura. So what yeah. can I do? So Grigio Celesto Eurus, nice fancy edit coming now. Well, we can we can do a snippet. Yeah, we can do a snippet. Right, so we've got two new wheels for the RS. This, this, this sucks, two new wheels for the RS6 and the kit. The kit's only 50% done, so we've done half the tooling. So we will go over to the car, talk about it, look at it, and Alex will blur it out so you can't see it. So over this Hashtag way. Hashtag free Alex. Again. Free Alex. I love this, right? So we put this on lowered suspension. We've got two different styles of wheels, which we can show. Um, some nice new finishes. We've got brush black and satin black and gloss black. So we've got UF1s and UF2s. We've got two different wheels on either side, which Alex will show you now. Then we have got the new aero kit, which is front lip, side seals, rear wing, lower wing, and the rear diffuser. So that's coming soon. We're 50% done. We'll get some nice close-ups there so you can see it. And that should be in the next videos in the next two or three weeks. Very important update, world exclusive, not your trainers. Mike has had a haircut. Look at this. Like, it's, it's, like, it's like Lenny's got a new puppy now. It's like a little Sharpe. Oh. <laughs> were you, were you yesterday, Frank, like, yesterday, yeah? Yesterday. Well, you booked in like seven o'clock in the morning to get Sharpe. I took a half day, yeah. Took a half day to get your hair cut. What a guy. What a guy. What a guy. My type of guy. So the last Ford car that we've got is obviously the GT. Now this is in Moonbeam Silver. We never even got anywhere because Mike was making a noise with a gun. <laughs> it's like literally, poor old boy. He's literally just trying to do his job. You're the boss having a go at him for doing his job. <laughs> yeah, don't do your job. <laughs> right, I'll start again. So this is the Moonbeam car. Now we've not even got to press yet. It's already sold. Someone's rung in and said, when do you want your, when's your next Bentley GT due? This one is also with Forged Carbon as well, so it's our third car this week with Forged Carbon. Let's have a little look around it. <laughs> Saying it was sold before it was even built, I say that all the time to, to people phoning people don't up. Believe they don't believe I sound like a car salesman. Get your deposit in because I will sell it before it's even built by Bentley, Lamborghini, Land Rover. It's true. We sell more cars before they're even built by the manufacturer. Than the manufacturer. Than so, the manufacturer. You can't say that we build more cars than the manufacturer. Because no. we don't. No. That's just a lie. But you got it sounded I, good at the time. You know when you... Yeah. You got what I was saying. You got what I was saying, though. About how I sound like a cheesy car salesman. About getting your deposit in. It's true. The amount of phone calls I've had back. Oh, have you still got that G-Wagon? No, I told you. I sent it about three months before it's even landed. Yeah, Lenny's got a list of... Uh, I think it's about 40, 45, I think, yeah, 45, yeah, 46 for the one yesterday. Yeah. We've got to go through that. We've got lots of customers in the queue. We're working from one by, well, about six by six at, yeah. at a time. So, so yeah, 
as usual, busy, busy, busy. So we showed you the 3D prints now. Um, last week we did a lot more design work on the Discovery 5, which we'll show you now on the PC. So, new disco. Um, what are we doing that's different? So, same as normal, full replacement front bumper. Uh, this time we are going for a new, like, dog bone approach to this design. So, you're going to see carbon all the way through the middle rather than it being broken up by the straights just here. Now, when you look from the side, you're going to see carbon coming out from the main bumper, uh, which is a nice new feature. It's nice and clean, a lot deeper at the front, so when you're looking from the front, you can see the depth of the car. Also, another new feature on, on the Discovery is, oh, there we are is the roof light bar just there, which is similar to our Defender offering, but with two large lights rather than four small lights. We've got a new rear wing and also a new diffuser with integral exhaust pipes as well. But you can see the car itself has got some lovely balance to it. Like the side profile of the car, if we pan in on the camera on this now, you've got some nice symmetry between the front and the back. The back sits lovely, the spoiler sits up, it marries up with the, with the front light as well. The front bumper comes down perfectly and then once the lower seals are on, you've got a lovely nice line of gravity along the bottom. So whilst this is pretty good in CAD on the screen, one thing that we always do, like I said earlier, is we want to check this in VR. So we can see whether all of the dimensions and the, the shape and you know every, just the finer detail just zooming in on things in in vr where we can see whether everything's perfect because we're going to be going to pattern on this next week to see who this is hello i'm in the middle of virtual reality mate i'm doing virtual reality on one of our new kits well it is sort of exciting but i've got one eye in one eye out and you're on the phone so can i call you back in five minutes <laughs> All right, I'll speak to you in a minute. Right, let's go. Where's the car? Yeah, so this looks so much better in VR. You can see the, the shape of the car. Obviously, you can lean down, look like along the side of the car. Right, so it's got a teleport feature on here, uh, which is in the centre. So we can move around the car and look from other angles. We can check the height of the front bumper to see it matches at the side. We can lean down and look. Uh, we obviously look at the uh, roof light bar as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with, with this build. And then if I just move to the back of the car, so switch the teleport over there and jump to the back. So we can sort of see the rear diffuser, um, exhaust tips and have a look at how much the spoiler sort of sits up in the, hair, in, the air in, in real terms. So yeah, I'm really, really impressed with this. You love Star Trek as well, didn't you? <laughs> Literally. I don't like Star Trek. He's a proper Trekkie. Is that how you do it? I, I don't know. <laughs> Can you do that? I bet you can't because your mind isn't powerful. That's it. Your, yeah. your mind isn't powerful enough, is it? What even is that? Is that, okay? is that a bit do like that one? Do that one. Yeah. Yeah, and then bend the two outside ones. Ah! Right, okay. Yeah, well, look at that. Yeah. And then that. Yeah, well, look at that. I don't even know why we're filming. I've got 78 biceps, so it doesn't matter. 